beautiful women. I'm Mary Grace. Thanks for watching my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a DIY glycolic acid peel for under $10. And the thing I want you to know about it is that you have to start slow. You have to start with a really low percentage of glycolic acid, maybe 5%. And you have to put it on for a very short amount of time, like 30 seconds and you have to test patch it like on your arm or your leg and then go to your neck, test it for 30 seconds and go to your, your chest and then to your face. You don't wanna put it all over and then find out that you have like a really bad reaction to it. So start slow, start low on the percentage and test patch as much as you can just to make sure before you put it all over. And I think you're gonna love it because you can do it yourself at home. You can do it in 10 minutes for under $10. I leave mine on for five minutes in this video, but you do not want to do that unless you've been doing it for years. What I notice when I go to the plastic surgeon or the dermatologist and talk about the ways to look younger, whether it's a laser, it's glycolic acid, it's der microdermabrasion, it's dermaplaning, retinol cream, all of those are peeling layers off the skin. So they're all exfoliating the skin. So there's so many different ways to do it. So I wanted to show you one of them today and that's glycolic acid. So the best way that I can describe exfoliation for the skin and what it does for wrinkles is to show you a, a pad of paper. Hopefully. So I make a mark across the pad of paper. Mark is that, right? So then you take off one and look how it looks lighter. That's like a wrinkle on our skin. The more you peel off the layers of the skin, see how the line's getting lighter? The bottom, there's no line left because all that skin's taken off. That's the best way I can explain. Underneath is that soft skin that we've always had. It's just gotten covered up with the wrinkles from all of the expressions that we've made over the years. You can buy this bottle for like 20 bucks on Amazon and it will last you 20, 30 treatments. Go for the lower one, the 10%, 5%, whatever you need. Start with a minute, go up to two minutes the next week and keep going up and then you can go up with your percentages. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Just to have everything out and handy along with your mirror before you start because you have to time it. I want a um, little thing to pour it in and then a brush to put it on with. And you wanna have a stopwatch. I have my iPad here. You just go to your clock setting and then you hit the stopwatch down there. And from the minute I start brushing this acid on my face, cause it is acid, this is on. So you're also gonna want um, some wipes to wipe it off. This and you start with my neck, I'll go to my chest and then I'll go to my face. It comes like in a vial like this two of these files worth will be enough for my face, neck, and chest. Again, I'm gonna start at my neck and then I'll go to my chest and then my face. So dip the brush in there and then I put the, and then I start brushing it on my neck. So that's my neck done. Now I'm gonna do my chest. Sorry, I'm using my ugly blow dryer, but it's my artwork blow dryer, so it has paint all over it. But what you want to do is take your blow dryer, put it on cool, and start to air off your face to make the stinging stop. I'm at five minutes now, so I'm gonna take it off. This is why I like these white things, because if you use, if you try to wash it off in the sink, it just splashes and it gets all over and you might not get it all. So these really take it all off. And yes, you will be pink and red for a little while, not for long, but for a little while. So make sure you get it all off.
make sure that when you're wiping it off, you don't touch your eye at all. So, you see how red I am? <laughs> That's normal, it'll go away soon. So now it's seven minutes. I, I, I left it on five, but I've been wiping it off for two minutes. Balancing chemical peel neutralizer. So then you spray this on. And it stings just a little bit just to make sure that that neutralizer gets in everywhere. So there, you've done your own glycolic acid peel. It's eight minutes, probably cost you $2, and you're not gonna get much of a different result for your $150 glycolic acid peel at, at the salon. And it's not always just the money, it's the time and the energy that it takes to go and have it done. I did this in eight minutes at my own house. I didn't have to get dressed, I didn't have to go anywhere. I didn't have to deal with any other person's energy. <laughs> you know, I just did it really quick before I go work out. So um, let me know what you think. I hope this helps you. So the next time your skin is feeling a little bit dull and you'd like to do a peel, give this one a try. Don't forget to go really low on the percentage of glycolic acid to start out with. And don't leave it on long at all. And test patch, test patch, test patch. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.